Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another full game. Um, once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon. I'm going to be rolling with the Jets as my offense and defense, uh, and I'll be using um, a lot of bunch. Uh, it was basically a formation I was playing around with. This time I'm actually the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, changing things up from the Eagles, which is kind of a, a role reversal for me because I use the Eagles a lot. Um, and I'll say this much about my opponent. My opponent actually was a fairly good offensive player. Uh, he made really good reads. He made very good decisions. He was very patient with his reads. Uh, but he get nervous, didn't make it. It didn't throw a lot of bad passes. And he, it's going to be a very good game you're going to see. Uh, so right here, actually, he waits. I pull off, and he actually throws right to his tight end. He actually picks up a first down. Uh, so uh, very, very good series right here. Going to cover two shell. And you're going to see him expose my cover two, even though I've got... Um, defenders that are playing the sidelines and flats, uh, he'll actually go and expose that, and you'll see it a little bit later. So right here, wide open, takes off this quarterback, very patient, very smart. So he's pretty much showing me the entire gamut. Uh, he comes out um, uh, a little auto motion and actually hits the corner right there, uh, cuts my defenders off, uh, off uh, guard and gets a nice little first down, comes right back to the run again. I tried to set up a run play, and I just didn't really get settled in. So... On offense, I'm playing around this run right here. Um, in the lab, it looked really, really good. Uh, but this guy was playing run defense. So you're going to see him shut that play down uh, based on the type of defensive lineman he's running. He's always going to have someone over there to go ahead and take away a lot of my blocks. So it forces me to make some plays. Now, this is the first game I played um, in a few weeks. I just haven't been on the sticks lately. So I'm a little bit rusty. My hand movements are not very fast, not pristine. Right here, I'm trying to look to the next level, and I, I, I hit the little crossing route, but I'm not able to possession catch it inbounds. So 4th and 11, this is the biggest bonehead play that I've made in this entire game. I decided to go for it on 4th and 11. Uh, running back route should be open right there, but his defender actually comes down. They pick off the ball, which actually worked out for me because it gives me a little bit more yardage based on the situation. So uh, basically, giving the, the ball right back to him in the first quarter, that's, a bad, that's just a bad decision. I know, it's a bad decision. You should always go ahead and force your opponent to, to move the ball. And I just think it's because I'm just right here. So this is the one thing. I had a flat out there. I had a, I had a, squ a soft squat. He did not play the sideline at all. So that, that was a little bit frustrating. This guy's going to be hitting um, out routes uh, pretty much to the entire game when he needed it. And it really messes me up a little bit. So right here, nice. Look at this read. Look at this. He just checks it down. I sent my guys after me, and I was able to go and pick up a first down. So right here, first and ten situation, about 4.30 left. I go ahead and user tackle him right there. I needed that particular play right there. So second and 13 situation, go into, he does like a little screen pattern. I pick it up perfectly, have the perfect angle with my linebacker to go ahead and, and, and tackle him. Third and 13 situation, I go ahead and, and dial him up with a, uh, with a dime blitz, and I'm able to go and get him off the edge and force him to settle for three. So... That's a big victory on my side that I'm actually go ahead and only down by 10 points against him. So back uh, to this run play. I'm trying to get this thing to hit. He gets a nice little block shed. My t my uh, my uh, lineman does not do anything. Go ahead and drop it down uh, right there to the running back. He actually hits a guy right there. So I noticed in the play art that he was using a lot of man coverages. Uh, so what I did is I started using out routes with my tight end. So I'm able to go and pick up a first down in a third and ten situation. No huddle once again. Hit him in the seam uh, with uh, the wide receiver right there. Um, and then I go ahead and hit him with the, the post shot play. And once again, I'm actually going to use that little out route because he's using a lot of heavy man blitzing. As you can see right there, the out route's wide open. The ball is a little bit overthrown, so I, I don't get the animation I'm looking for. But I, I know huddle. Uh, come back to one of my favorite plays, which is this uh, halfback angle um, out of the trip set. And you can see the running back actually gets a phenomenal separation. I'm able to go and get the ball down into the 26 line, 27 yard line, take a timeout, and uh, go into um, another formation, which is that, that bunch um, uh, offset. And able to go ahead and hit him right over the middle and get um, a touchdown. So down three points, getting the ball in the second half. If I get one stop, I'm doing pretty good. He takes off this quarterback. Look at, he drops it down to, to his running back. So this guy saw the field pretty well. Uh, it looked like he was trying to stretch the ball out because, but I was because I was doing over the top coverage. Uh, he was able to go and get me. So I sack him right there. He takes the timeout. Um, so basically seven seconds left. He actually hits a little flat route. I'm going to go ahead and tackle him, and that pretty much takes us out of the half. So. In the, going into the second half, down my three points, getting the ball back, uh, feeling good about that, that I've got some points. 
Uh, so right here, come with a little trap play. His defensive end just basically just destroys my lineman. I should have got some more yards on that. Uh, go into uh, the tight end bunch set. I'm looking for a little spot, Rob, because once again, he's using a lot of man coverage. So I go ahead and drop that down. And right here, uh, back to uh, the fade stop. Another fast completion. This is using a lot of man coverages. And right here, I come into a run play, but this guy had really good tackling. He had really good man uh, uh, man tackling. But he used the safety, and this is what opened things up right here. So he goes off that sideline, leaving that post right over the middle wide open. I'm able to go in and get another touchdown with Perryman. Uh, Perryman is having a huge game for me so far. So going to cover four out of the dime package, he actually runs the ball. I get a nice little block shed to go ahead and bottle that up. That could have been a lot more yards, but because I got block shed, it, it actually worked very well for me. Go back to 34 right here, and he actually hits me uh, with a nice little run play, but I'm able to go ahead and tackle him on this, um, uh, right there. So he's back to this this trip set. He actually hits me with like a like a an angle route with a tight uh, with a wide receiver. That's actually a really good route. Perfect perfect play for that coverage. And then I'm, I'm actually trying to go and set my guy up. I, I didn't get on the right person. He hits me with a bubble screen and gets perfect blocking. Makes a nice little move. I'm unable to tackle him, and he actually takes it into the red zone, going up 17 to 14. So. Right here, cover three. So I don't really have, I didn't have a lot of cover three beaters in my uh, in this gameplay. So I actually threw this bunch set in because it's one of the more popular cover threes. And you can see right here, I expose him for a huge play right over the top with Perryman. Perryman's third touchdown of the day. Up top, going into uh, the fourth quarter, up 21 to 17. So. Back here again, uh, he's in a running formation. He actually just tries a little dive right there. I'm able to get him bottled up for about a two, uh, one yard gain. So back into the dime package. I'm just in a cover four shell. I just want to go and show him cover four. Kind of mess up his reads a little bit. And uh, right here actually throws right into coverage. You got a defender right there, but he never makes a play against the wide receiver. The receiver comes down with it. So I would have been happy if the ball got knocked out, but to, to just basically go ahead and give up a play like that is really annoying. So right here I go into f uh, the 43. This is the live playbook, so it provides me a little bit more f flexibility. I'm able to go and make a play. That kind of made up for the, the, the previous play. So third and 10 situation. Dial up the blitz. The blitz gets picked up by his running back, and he hits me with an out. Now I have a, I've got a flat zone out of there. It's a soft squat, and he does not play that at all. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and look in to see if the soft squats have been adjusted at all, because they should at least play that sideline play, because he really exposed it. So dial up um, basically a an OK roll blitz right here. And uh, it comes in and actually stops the run. It looks like that run would have been wide open where he was going at it. And he comes in a strong, close. I'm trying to go ahead and get the blitz off and basically hits me just right over the middle. So he doesn't play it the way it normally does. So fourth and two situation. He's got a basically stack off to the left. Um, I go ahead and try to set up my guys. And right here hits me with another out route, man. He was killing me with out routes. Very, very frustrating. So back to the dime blitz right here, the cover two. He actually takes off with his running back. You know, to go ahead and tackle him for a one-yard gainer. So his running play was just, it was not working for what he wanted to do. Try to go ahead and hit him with another uh, another blitz right here. And actually, I get um, basically some block shit tackles right there, sack. So get him into a third and second situation. I go ahead and dial up a really aggressive blitz. And I go ahead and look to the seam right there. And I user uh, intercept the ball right there and take it down to the 30 yard line so a minute and 26 seconds left all i need is a first down and his team starts getting black sheds uh fletcher cox just started killing me look at look at fletcher just getting right back to my center i can't even look to my reads right there he's got my guy all locked up and he's getting black sheds off of his defensive line so right here i try to dial up one other play this is just another bad bad throw because his offensive line his defensive linemen were actually making huge plays right there and just destroying me so have to punt the ball back he only has one timeout so if I get a sack that's really gonna mess him up a little bit because that's gonna burn some time off the clock so come back to the dime package right here got basically uh, that set up he's making some adjustments uh, pressure gets picked up he actually hits a nice little slant route picks up some, some yards I think he know huddles he gets it down to about 40 seconds left try to hit him with the, uh, the the pressure again he actually throws it I did hard flats right here my guy got came comes down and takes away that route so second to 10 35 seconds left go with pressure off to the right hand side 
to see if I can get some block shift. It gets completely picked up. It actually, I pulled my guy out of the way. I don't know what was going on. It's, I had a couple situations where my guy was getting pulled out of the way. Uh, so right here, I come with the Oki roll. The Oki roll comes in and sacks him. And because of the roll off the clock, it comes down to about seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds before he actually goes ahead and gets the ball off and actually throws right into double coverage. He still catches it, but because there's no time, I'm able to go and pick up a victory. So good game. Um, the guy was actually really good on offense. He didn't really run a lot of exotic schemes, but he knew his reads. He knew what he was doing. His defense was was, was basically a lot of man blitz, uh, man stuff and cover three, and I was able to go and expose it. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. I'll be rolling out some more offensive defensive tips and some more gameplay for, for the channel. So once again, thank you for your support, and until next time.